I interviewed entrepreneur John Roberts, and John is actually a friend of my oldest brother. We went to school together, and right now he is the president of an online marketing solutions firm called Quantify Solutions Inc. So as I was talking to John, just kind of casually, I was realizing the more I talked to him, the more ideas that Daniel King talks about were coming through with the way that John kind of goes about business on a daily basis. So starting off with, we were talking about his first job, and how many of you guys were like forced by your parents to give a summer job? And then where you were working, were you ever not happy with how it was being run, the management was poor, you just were like doing these horrible tasks for minimum wage, wondering why you were, but didn't say anything. Anybody? I've been there. So the difference with John is that he took initiative, he was working at the largest paintball arena in Northern um, Virginia. And so he's 14 years old, working this low-end job, just cleaning the facility, and realized that things could be done better. So he took an initiative and he spoke up, and you know, would work hard and had the work ethic to kind of show that he wasn't just some kid saying stuff to management. And what ended up happening is he was promoted, um, and then ended up working there for 10 years. So he was the manager. He helped increase revenue by three times the amount that they were making in three years. So that was his first kind of entrepreneurial step in the right direction, and he kind of used that as a foundation that served as a point that his working hard and um, kind of taking initiative was actually going to pay off. So then he went to college, he went to Hamden City in Virginia, and when he was there, he met his friend Adam McDonald. So Adam and him decided there was a problem on campus. Kids would be on campus hanging out, but nobody could deliver food to them unless they were getting pizza. So they came up, they were like, why not just make our own business plan? And um, John was in a class that he had to. So he used his time during the class to um, make this business plan, and then, sorry, my glasses are cool. <laughs> and so he used his time during the class to um, formulate this whole business plan that the next fall he and Adam were going to launch together. So together they had this business, and it was campus, campusdelivery.com, and they're catering to all the guys on campus having food delivered to them at, you know, just a phone call away. So what ended up happening was six weeks out of the year, they realized they were getting no business. And does anybody have any idea why that would be on a campus with a lot of free flights? <laughs> exactly. So on um, the 14 week semester, they have six weeks left. No business is coming through because pledges are there to get the food to the guys. So they continued with the business for an entire year, but John kind of used it more so as a learning experience to really figure out your demographic beforehand and figure out if there already is a solution to a problem that's going on. So the next thing John did was graduate. So after he graduated, he decided he wasn't going to go into the corporate world. He wasn't going to be like his dad to be a lawyer. So instead, he ended up moving to Florida and working at a startup there. And that's where one we were talking about Pink's kind of, I guess his, um, his focus on the right side of the brain when it comes to design came into play. So John saw a great product being made, but the design of it wasn't appealing to the audience that it needed to. So it kind of was going down the drain. He thought, after a year, yeah, living in Florida is great, but I'm not a move. So he reached out to Adam McDonald again via LinkedIn, which by the way is his favorite way to connect with people. And he ended up talking to him, figuring out where he was. And he was in the same situation, had been at a start, but was like, you know what, I'm over this. We can do it better, and I know, you know we really have the ability and the manpower to do it. So he and Adam teamed up, and they made Quantify Solutions, Inc. And this is um, a picture of their, like, the home page when you go to their website. And basically, what they have is digital marketing solutions to any and everyone is how they started off. And this is nine months ago, by the way. So nine months ago, this is what they have. They're like, whoever wants business from us, we're going to help. Well, next thing you know, they're casting too wide of a net and with only six people on a team. The resources were completely drained and what they ended up doing was delivering a product to their clients who, yes, they were paying, but the product wasn't the caliber that they needed to be to kind of start building a brand and a name to themselves. So they reevaluated what was going on, decided to start saying no. So back to what Pink was talking about in the book is that relationships and the quality of the relationships really needs to be recognized. So while, um, oh, so marketing solutions, especially digital ones, you know, really so many people are not to make apps, but what was the difference with their company that kind of made it that much better? 
and was the value behind the relationship that John and Adam really, really wanted to capitalize on. So here are a few examples of the different things um, that they make. But they're really all about design and having like a good design and having the function behind it to make things um, that much easier. So, so another way that um, I was wondering how, okay, you have six people working in a company with all 20-something year olds. How do you really have a president that's 24 without it being kind of a tense situation or the workplace having a weird dynamic because you're 23 and having this 24-year-old tell you exactly what to do all the time? And what ended up happening in John's situation is that he wanted to avoid that at all costs. So he has a foosball table in the break room, and they have like weekly um, competitions that kind of lets the steam out. They have some friendly competition, and that things are like easygoing, lighthearted in the office space. Another thing that they do is once or every other day they have team meetings. It's 26 of them, and they kind of talk about the frustrations. And what they do is they go back to the mantra of the organization to really kind of break the tension and make things better. And then another way that the organization is kind of the epitome of what Pink is looking for is back to the relationships with customers, is that they're trying just to formulate that um, relationship so that they can build and go from there. And that's about it.